Hey, good morning, folks. How's it going? Um, I'm just going to scroll through the chat here real quick. Uh, where'd it go? Uh, here we go. Okay. Um, so, oh, man, it's not letting me select. Mm, that's really annoying, guys. Hold on. Oh, it might be because it's so, uh, it's so hot already that my screen can't tell the difference between the air temperature and my thumb. Um, that happens. But anyway, okay. So, let's just get into it. Alright, um, I really don't want to have to make this fucking video because if, anybody here knows a little bit about me, you know that I really don't enjoy catering to drama, especially like local drama, like slab drama, because there's so many people out there who are already addressing that kind of shit, and they're so much more like, uh, I guess, involved than I am because, you know, they have, uh, whatever their connections are to other people, and, um, so if you know anything about any of the slab drama, if you're, like, a slabber fan, then you've probably heard of the name Mike Dibble, and you might notice that I'm a little hesitant to even fucking say his name, because, um, well, he used to be a really close friend of mine, and I actually made a video featuring his camp. It's the Goonies camp video. And I should have put that link in the description, but I did not. Um, I'll go and fix that later. But, um, <clears throat> so he he started this camp called Goonies. There was Goonies 1.0, which was a little closer to here. And then Goonies 2.0, which is on the other side of Slab City on the lower canal. I'm on the upper canal. And, uh... And during that season, while he was building up that space on the lower canal, um, me and my buddies used to go over there, like, every day and hang out. We'd have coffee over there and sometimes breakfast and just, like, play around and have fun and, you know, do general hijinks. And it, it was all, you know, just, like, fun wholesome punk rock times and 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 then uh directly after i left for my trip to uh hitchhike across alaska well i didn't know i was gonna hitchhike across alaska then but when i headed up to alaska right after um he got arrested for pedophilic acts and basically it came out that he had been molesting children like, that whole time that we had been hanging out, which just, like, was a real fucking shocker for me, and I'm sure, like, I mean, can you imagine somebody that you hung out with every day and went over to their house and helped out with chores and made a move, like, a video about them, and then you find out that, you know... You find out that that person is uh, abusing children. Like it was really, um, it was really fucking traumatic for me to have to deal with that while I was on the road, and I couldn't really, you know, talk to anybody else in the community. And at first, I didn't want to believe it. Like there was rumors going around that oh, he was set up because of this or that. It was, you know, it didn't happen, and. I wasn't, like, I was never a denier that any of his crimes happened. Um, but I was skeptical at first because I hadn't seen the the rap sheets myself. And, I mean, if, if you've only got... Uh, it, I guess if you're picked up on crimes from, like, one place in one isolated area, instance there is a possibility that maybe you got set up right it could happen but then i saw the rap sheets from two other states 
for even more heinous crimes against uh, children. And that's when I was like, okay, this is a real thing. This really happened, and I'm going to have to accept that one of my ex-friends, because he became my ex-friend at the moment I found out that he was a child abuser. Um, you know, I had to uh, accept that that was just the reality. And he he had fooled a lot of people. A lot of people thought he was really cool. And he had a, a pretty active camp. And, like, there was a lot going on. Uh, because he was getting funding from somebody. And I don't really know a whole lot about that. Um, I do actually have a guest here that I'm going to talk to in a moment who has been involved in the nitty gritty of the YouTube drama about I'm happy to have him here and some of you may know who it is but um, I'm, I'm gonna keep riffing on <laughs> on this I actually like I, I didn't have any of this planned out I just um, okay so the reason I'm talking about this now instead of like two years ago when he got picked up is because you know he got picked up so then he's in jail and so i didn't really see any need to to holler about it because justice was being served already so you know he was in jail locked up away you know good but now he's out uh, he was released maybe like a couple months ago, and he's been laying low in a, a town nearby, which is fine enough. He's over there keeping quiet, but lately uh, he's he's been hiding out here. And his name, or I guess it's not a fake name because it's his middle name, but nobody knows that's his middle name. He's been introducing himself as Jay two people and actually had already made a couple of friends who didn't know who he was like newer folks and that that I can't abide by like it, the only thing worse than a pedophile is an undercover pedophile fuck that like he used to be one of my best friends and now I would fucking carve pedo in his fucking forehead if I got the chance because nobody should have to go through what he put those kids through or what any of his ex-friends had to go through in finding out that he did that to those kids and, or or the people that he's a good friend but really he's an undercover pedophile and that's fucking disgusting so that's why i had to make this video because i have to publicly call that shit out i don't like talking about local community like internal shit on my channel just because it's like there's no reason to but here um i just need to make people aware of who this guy is and how to identify him and that we do not accept pedophiles hiding out in this town a lot of people come out here like uh you remember when uh i did a live stream about that with some friends and that was another and like become you know integrate himself into the community like these people think that they can come here and just get away with shit and yeah we are a little bit more tolerant of people with <coughs> criminal history and criminal backgrounds like you know some people have a drug abuse history some people have a history of theft <coughs> some people you know may have done things that are a little bit unsavory but you know as long as they keep their noses clean and stay the fuck away from people or like respect people then it's okay but like there, there's no excuse for abusing children and there's no place for anybody here in this community for people that abuse children or for people who try to protect those people if you're hiding a pedophile in your camp you're the same as them in my eyes and in everybody else's every decent person's eyes so to the guy that's hiding dibble in his camp 
you're free game too, buddy. So you might want to rethink that approach because there are a lot of people who are really fucking pissed. And we know who you are and where you are. So that kind of sucks for you. You made a really fucking stupid move. And, you know, if you're going to sympathize with fucking pedophiles out here, you probably are one. Like, if you're okay with children being fucked with, then you're you're devoid of morality. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah. So I'm not sure why they released him, and I'm not sure on all the speculation of why he's back here or any of those details. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my table here, and I'm going to talk to my buddy Kaz about it, see if, see if he's got anything to add here, and some speculatory input. Some of the stuff is speculation. Oh, yeah. Actually, can you go on this side? Because sure. the lighting is coming from yeah, that yeah. way. Well. Yeah, I don't mean to say that what you have to say is, you know, entirely speculation. Well, but and why he's here is only speculative. Like, I got no fucking clue why he's right. here. But, like, why he's released uh, is because he took a plea bargain. You know. What does that even mean? So, ninety percent of all convictions um, are done by a plea bargain. Mm -hmm. So, you're in you're in the court system. Uh, the first step they after they arrest you is you uh, go. To, there's a grand jury, and that's not like a trial or anything like that. But they just go and sit and look to see if they're is actually enough evidence to move forward. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, if you looked at any of those court documents, and I was trying to cut and paste it, but I was not able to uh, we can get that in the link in the description below, mm -hmm. if you want that later. Um, but like a lot of the stuff where it says he did this, blah, 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 that's not him confessing. That's actually the grand jury saying that yes, they believe he did this, we're moving forward with the trial. Mm -hmm. Now, from that, you go on to your, uh, uh, what do they call it? Basically, you, you enter your plea. Mm -hmm. And they waive their right to a speedy trial. Uh, everybody in the United States has a right, right to a speedy trial. Over there, when, when oh, Rand went away. I did. Yeah, I, yeah. He, that, that shit was done real. Work, works in the benefit of the criminal out, out here. Because like it doesn't allow, boom, you you end up sitting in jail for a long time or going to court. So you go a bunch of times, and then in these times they offer you different agreements, and the agreement is always you plead guilty to a lesser crime, and we will drop the other ones. You are essentially pleading guilty to something, you know. And in the eyes of DAs, judges. The people who vote for them, most importantly, the people who vote for them, a conviction is a conviction. We, we have this high of a conviction right now. Mm -hmm. That's what they care about. Um, they, they don't really care about the, the nitpicky little things. Too. So, uh, Michael did take a plea. He pled to a lesser charge with a long list of stipulations. Uh, and a lot of people did uh, sit, yeah, I don't know if you know this, but you can actually listen to all the court shit that goes on in, oh, in wow. County uh, via the website, and it's it, they broadcast it on YouTube. No shit. Yeah, they use YouTube as their, uh, their, their okay, way to do it. Okay, well, you can see the... No, you can't see it, because they hear, uh, hear, that hear it while it's or... going on. Yep, they take it off immediately, um, but it does allow people to, to be able to listen. Mm -hmm. um, there's no visuals at all. So, uh, when when he went to get his sentencing on the 22nd of July, I have a laundry list of stuff, like 30-some-odd different conditions. And one of them uh, uh, 
was that number 23 he had to register as a sex offender and like when he got released he jumped online immediately it was like hey I, I, it wasn't me you know i'm not gonna have to register blah 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 See, that's just, that's another reason yeah. why i had to call him out too because like you can't just be like going straight online and arguing that you didn't do the things that you did it's this that means that like that's so fucking grimy dude yeah, well, you know, and and he's got a, a, a team of supporters that have been, you know, pushing that agenda, you know, from the get-go. Well, the reality is, is they did offer him this plea agreement, and uh, uh, it's this is speculatory. I believe that uh, uh, they counter-offered that and went, you know what, you take registering off the table, we'll take that plea. And they did, you know, mm. but in, in the sentencing, they kind of screwed that up and didn't strike it like they did strike his teddy bears. He's allowed to have teddy bears. That was struck from that, you know, and it's my speculatory that he was all like, man, you got to let me have my teddy bears. I got to be able to sleep, man. I can't sleep Ew. without my teddy bears. I mean, like, how else do they get brought up? But, you know, it's the whole little, they, they can use it as bait for children. So um, what... What really fucking struck me after finding out about all this shit is that when I end, um, and this is really gross and shitty, but um, there was this woman with her two kids were always hanging out over there, and this woman, like, clearly was a drug addict. She was always fucking, like, strung out when she was over there. And then the kids would just be, like, playing. Very hanging out with this weirdo and her kids. And he was like, oh, I'm just babysitting them because, you know, fucking the mom wants to get fucked up and hang out here. And I don't know, I just, like, that just rubbed me the wrong way. I thought it was weird. But then after I found out what he got picked up on, like, I put two and two together. And those were the kids that he was abusing, two young boys. And it sucks because they were also my neighbors here, and um, I helped them out a lot, like, their family. And I knew that there was something up with the mom, but, like, to think that she was selling her kids for drugs, basically, over at Goonies Camp, like, still fucking haunts me to oh, this you, day. Oh, you think, you think they were sold? Like, I didn't... No, I uh... think that she brought them over to let him fuck with them in exchange for him giving her substances. No, like, I never, I never really thought, well, that is selling them. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm, I, I didn't, I didn't know, I never even thought about it that way at all. I just thought that, uh, Either she I, wasn't aware or, like, you know, willfully <clears throat> not aware and just, like, got all strung out and then, you know, she's passed out and then he's fucking with the kids. Or she knew and just was using to like cope with how fucked up she is you know but there was definitely a deal there where he was providing her with speculatory we don't have any evidence well yeah, i'm yeah, saying yeah. what i've seen oh. what i literally saw yeah. when i was over there was that and possibly some other type of drugs um while she was there do you and, on your channel yeah okay. oh yeah dude I I now slide mine over when I'm gonna do this because they'll they'll turn me in for uh, and get get it demonetized on me. They demonetize for smoking weed. Yeah. Not for those kids either. Um, I I wish I did, but you know, they were not being well taken care of by that woman here at all. We, but nah, don't justify what. There's rumors that Michael isn't the only one. I mean, I that was here. I couldn't say it on that, but um, you know, he did have other people at that camp. I, I'm not saying at that camp. Uh, allegedly, I don't know. There was that couple, Bonnie and Clyde, that were hanging out here that got picked up, as well as potentially Tank. Well, Tank got picked up. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no. Like the these these this couple was watching the kids. Ugh. Uh, again, so like, there is the potential for, well, not potential. Somebody somebody has said that uh, 
not only did Michael, but this couple did as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's... that's... <sighs> yeah, Slap City is a really nice and fun place, but... But it's like any city. Well, yeah, and the thing about Slap City, though, is that it's harder for people to hide and stay in the shadows because all of our houses are, like, open air and we all hang out together outside. Mm. And, you know, it's it's more open. There's not... It, you can't just go inside of your little four-wall apartment and shut that's the well door. That's well insulated for, you know... And I think that's really good and it's really important for the community to stick together and talk about these kinds of things and out predators because there's a lot of vulnerable people that come here and I protect them and I want to protect the children that that come out here with their parents and you know there's a lot of troubled people that come through here but that's you know having troubles and having kids at the same time isn't a fucking crime and nope you know we just, yeah, we got to help people and help them take care of themselves. You know, because the reality is, is there's there's a lot of the, the stuff that we just described about Michael that you just take the fucking touching them out of it. Mm-hmm. And it's a good situation. It's, it's a village right. helping raise children. Yeah. You know, and that does happen out here mm-hmm. a, a lot, you know. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of, um, like, when when people come out here with kids, a lot of times they'll um, kind of serve a larger camp and let their kids all play together and take turns watching them and taking care of them while the other ones, like, go and have fun. And that's wholesome. But, you know, all it takes is that one, and that's wholesome. But, you know, all it takes is that one fucking creep to infiltrate that kind of circle and all of a sudden you've got a really bad situation. <coughs> yep, and it, it does, you know, affect all of the slabs. It doesn't just affect mm-hmm. that family and stuff like that. Yeah. Know? Because then, like, uh, I feel like it opens up the, the doors for people who do do that. They're like, oh, he almost got away. He yeah. was getting away with it for a bit. I'm smarter than that fucker, mm-hmm. you know, and, and attracts it. Like, that's one of the things that I don't like about uh, uh, misinterpretation of the last free place in America. Right. Like, there's fucking laws here and shit like that. But, you know, you get the people who committed murders and, and uh, you know, Tank, who I think he thought he could run here and fucking oh, know. Like, oh, they he did. They he was it. trying to start his own camp and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, he, he was out and about, and I know that uh, uh, one of the private slab city groups had posted, you know, about his shit in New York that he had issues with, and then showed up. So, like, I'm pretty sure everybody knew he was fucking trying to skip, skip, uh, his, uh, skip out on bail, mm. you know? Yeah, that's why... It... That was crazy because there was like a hundred cops out here just like oh they were u.s marshals u.s yeah u.s marshals with fucking ars and shit like going through every camp it was crazy did they come all did they make it all the way out here they rolled through there was a couple on quads across the street none of them posted up in my yard Mm because they all kind of know but like i went up and talked to the ones on quads near ella's place and they were just kind of sitting out there making sure nobody ran out this yeah. way, basically. Yeah. And, you know, I asked if there was anything I could do to help or, you know. But they picked up Tank, and I guess they picked up a couple, a couple other people on I think the that's, I think that's that Bonnie and Clyde couple they yeah. might have picked up in that, that scoop as well. Yeah, it was a big sweep. But that's why it's really important also to keep uh, Slab City, like, clean and tidy because we don't want... <laughs> The U.S. Marshals sweeping through town, going through people's camps with ARs just randomly. Yeah, that sucks. They, they do it at least every two years, if not every year. Yeah, it's kind of like a fucking roundup. Yeah. You know, just cat cast the net. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's it's always really fucking fucking weird. All right, I'm gonna go do a dab at my desk here real quick and check in with my chat and see what people are saying. All right. And I'll talk with you again in a second here, cause. If you guys want to have a conversation, you're going to have to do it outside my mic range here. Let's see. All right, who's in chat? Look out there, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yes, okay, the reason we're talking about this right now, guys, is because, yeah, Mike Dibble has come back to Slab City, and he's trying to pass himself off as somebody else. He's going by Jay. Um, I've got a bunch of pictures here of how to identify him. I know that some of you people that might be watching right now are actually in Slab City, and that's why, you know, it's important to get informed and other people that are in this chat right now are people that are interested in Slab City or, you know, maybe want to come and might have concerns about safety or whatever. Um, so that picture that I used as the thumbnail for this video is a current picture or at least a pretty up-to-date one. But, you know, it's, it's really up close and zoomed in and kind of ugly. Um, shit, I can't find the thread. Where is it? Um, and there's also copies of his rap sheet out, too, which, you know, for your consideration, they're good to see, I guess, but, you know, you don't have to see them to know that they exist and that they're not fucking fake. <laughs> um... It's amazing to me how many people online uh, jumped on the Mike Dibble wagon to try and, like, prove his innocence or whatever, and I think that's absolutely fucking disgusting. If you're one of those people that's tried to feature Mike Dibble on your channel to argue for his innocence, then fuck you, you're a disgusting, absolute piece of shit. Because there's more than enough evidence. And there's fucking rap sheets from three different states now. And Mike Dibble, if you happen to be watching, which, I mean, you might be, um, don't be a fucking moron and probably just get the fuck on out of here. Because nobody fucking wants you here. In fact, you know... I don't know if I can legally say this, but you might just want to fucking put a bullet in your head, buddy. Because you fucked up, and you deserve nothing else. And going around fucking lying to everybody about it, acting like you didn't do it, that's, like, absolutely bottom barrel grimy shit. Um, and you should be fucking ashamed of yourself. Now, I'm still trying to find these um, these pictures here to show you because uh, I literally had this fucking set up beforehand and I guess the page refreshed or something and now I can't find it, which is super annoying. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's just pull this up here. Yes, Lewis, you're right, and that's, that's like, why, why I have to call him out in this public manner. Like, if he fucking had just stayed in some shit apartment, a few towns over, lied low, and was honest about what happened, then maybe I could have just, like, kept quiet about it, because, you know, he served time, and, you know, if he was following the rules of probation, then fine, whatever. But he's not, and he's back out here pretending to be somebody else and trying to insert himself back into this... Why is this not loading? Here we go. Back into this community, and that's not fucking acceptable. Excuse me. All right, let's see. 
here is I know this is super janky guys please uh please forgive me but I'm just gonna show you on my computer here if you can see it okay let me get this steady this is the rap sheet just from here in Slab City. He racked this up in less than two years. That's just here. So let's see what else we got. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna just find the pictures here. Ugh. Absolutely unacceptable. Uh, and there's like countless YouTube videos that have come out, including on Kaz's channel. Um, and Kaz has talked about this a lot since it happened. And uh, Kaz, your channel is just Community Cause, right? Yeah, Community Cause. Community. C O Z cause and you can post a link in the chat to your um to your YouTube channel as well. Some of you might not be familiar with who Cause is, but he's uh one of the talking heads here out in uh YouTube and he's got a channel where he does live streams kind of like this and you know talks about current events out here in his life and other people's life experiences out here in slabs so if you want to get the scoop that's where okay let's find here's the pictures here's another one okay so notice how he's trying real hard to be incognito look like a normal fucking person right this is from a live stream that he was featured on, on a trash fucking YouTube channel that you don't need to go to. Um, but, you see how he, he almost looks like a normal guy, right? But then, you look at the fucking next picture, which is the one I used for the, for the tab here, this one. And, yeah, he's, he just, ugh. When I was hanging out with him, he wasn't missing as many teeth. I don't know what, what happened there, but, uh, so, yeah. And he's got, uh, there's another picture of his booking photo where you can see his fucking tattoos and stuff, which is kind of handy to have. Shit, where is it? Where are they? Oh, there we go. This is what he used to look like. Look at that fucking whack-ass attempt at a mohawk. So there's his tattoo. That's kind of handy to also note. But that's that was taken the day he got picked up. That's his mug shot. So, yeah. He's out here running around, and if you're here in slabs and you see that fucking guy, I don't know, <laughs> tell somebody at, at the very least, or, you know, do, do what you might personally wish to do to a pedophile. I'm not giving you instructions or anything, I'm just saying, you know, do what feels right. But, yeah. Um, so, anyway... It sucks because this guy used to be my friend. Like I said, he's in one of my YouTube videos. And you just never know. But you always got to keep your eyes open and be aware that predators are everywhere. And they're really good at just, like, becoming part of the fabric of a community and hiding and we just can't abide by that. Okay. I'm 
I'm going to turn the camera back over to Cause if you want to talk about um, anything else. I don't know. Honestly, I'm kind of tired of talking about them. Yeah? You're tired. <laughs> like, uh, I, so, like uh, most of these people know that I've been harassed by a lot of mm-hmm. different people online over this. And, yeah, just kind of tired of it. But, well, you've, but you've done, this, like, hours of talking about this topic. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Because it's like, if I don't, they, they continue to attack, attack, attack. So, like, mm-hmm. I fucking try, try to give a the bit of whatever that live stream is about that and dealing with that. Because, mm-hmm. like, yeah, it's just something that won't go away. And I figured I would kind of return the favor to Michael and just not go away. Who are, like, but like, who is defending him? Who is like. Um, so, Big Nick Digger. The, well, so. The, the, oh, it's a. Just a bunch, of, sorry. bunch of trolls. A bunch of trolls. Yep. 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 And, Not even people that they're... like know him personally, though. Uh, no, like... some some people do know him personally, like Evan. Uh, he's the guy that runs Slab City News. Oh. And uh, he, he claims to have met you as well. Uh, I've met a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he stayed over at at Michael's camp. Uh, he might have been going by his real name. I'm not gonna. Okay. But anyways, yeah, Slab City News. Allegedly, he's on his way out here now because him and his boyfriend have. Well, and he's a it. he's a pedophile apologist. A supporter, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's they true. have to register for that mm-hmm. little bit. That there was that mistake that was given. He was like, "I'm fucking done with Michael." Mm-hmm. But as soon as he doesn't have to register anymore, it's like, "All right, I'm back." So team, team Dibble. You know? That's fucking gross. So it's like. Unless he has, unless some fucking bureaucratic shit has to happen and it's not real enough for you, like, that, I don't know. Okay, public service announcement here. If you're watching right now and you have ever found yourself publicly defending Mike Dibble, um, you can, you can come back from that if you just stop now and just fucking drop it. Because all you're doing is making yourself look like you are okay with abusing children so you know i'm not i'm not gonna personally like make a call to arms for any of you folks that are doing that unless you keep doing it so just don't don't support against his charges yeah i forgot to also mention tommy treehouse is one of them tommy treehouse is somebody that yeah why are you picking Team Diddler, dude, fuck off. Don't do it. It's a bad look. You know, like, even if you secretly fucking think that maybe he's he got set up, like, you don't have to make that your public crusade. It's just gonna fucking hurt you in the long room, or in the long run. My goodness. Wow, what a morning. <laughs> I know it's it's been a fucking hell and, and all that to you if you want. Yeah, oh, thanks, like dude. That. I was just thinking about grabbing some more coffee. Um, yeah, and it's like on top of uh, the last few weeks, it's just been like deadly hot. A bunch of people have dropped, and it's just been really stressful. And then, of course, we got to find out that fucking Mike Dibble is back, and now we have to deal with that shit too. So. That's yeah, just... which I will say, unfortunately, this heat does make it easier for people to hide. Well, yeah, because yeah. everybody's fucking sitting in their camp all day anyway. Yeah. yeah. And, and and most likely just, you know, watching a screen and, you know, trying to... More internet drama just <laughs> in the last few weeks because there's no fucking other outlet for socialization right now. Like, everybody's isolated because of the pandemic and it's hot as balls. And everybody's just, like, tired of sweating and really sluggish. Uh, You know, even just existing through another day takes a lot out of you. And actually, maybe I should take the the Big Nick Digger's name out of it. I was trying to actually paint a bigger picture. Uh, um, Because they they worked as a group together for a while. And then some have splintered off. There's, like, a whole... They used to go by uh, Big Mac Balls. It was a group of them. It was not one person. Mm. Um... You know, they all fed Super each other information and shit like that. Uh, 
then for a while it was the 33. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly what they're going at right now, but it is definitely a fluctuating group of a lot of people who watch us. Oh, yeah. All of those accounts have been banned from my channel yeah, long yeah, ago. Yeah. I don't have time for that. Um, but what I do have time for is exposing fucking pedophiles in my fucking community. Yeah, and see, that's the one time that I do... If, if I'm going to talk shit on people, I, I unblock them so like we can have a conversation <laughs> about it. It's like, I hope, you, I hope you've learned your lesson and we can not go down this path. But they end up constantly getting thrown back in it. So I, I, I need to learn to be better about just if they're in there. Uh, and unless, you know, they come with a justifiable reason for me to pull them back out, not to do the group swipe out anymore. Mm. <sighs> All right, I'm going to go take a dab at my desk here. Yikes. All right, guys, well... You know what, this is all really hard for me to talk about, and if you've been following for a while, like, um, like I said, I refused to really talk about it other than, you know, to confirm that he did, in fact, get picked up for crimes, and that they, you know, he was booked, and, and, you know, talking a little bit better. So, I thought it was finally time for me to fucking open my mouth about it. Because, like, there's just no other way around it right now. Like I said at the beginning, if if he's going to come back here introducing himself under a different name and trying to pass himself off as just some guy here, like, and, and also going online and trying to deny his his guilt about what happened here then I absolutely cannot abide by that that's not okay so now y'all know who he is and what he looks like we're approaching 45 minute minutes on live here um, if you I know you probably didn't like 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 this kind of content but it is informative and we need to know and call out people who are abusers in our community. Um, so if you want to see more content for in the future, sometimes it's fun stuff, sometimes it's serious, downer stuff like this, um, hit the like and subscribe button, um, share videos, check out my playlists. I go on adventures, I do cooking shows, and all sorts of stuff like that. And also, um, so this is in the works here. <coughs> <laughs> but I am cl close to launching a brand new channel. <coughs> I've been, it's been in the works for a week or so now uh, since I got the idea, but I'm going to be launching a new channel with uh, clean and family-friendly content on it, which is weird, I know, because I smoke weed and swear a lot. <laughs> sometimes do semi illegal shit on on camera but uh i want to do a new channel where i just talk about wholesome stuff and maybe review things and do cooking and working out type stuff just kind of keep it focused on reviews and self-improvement so keep an eye out for that i might have a name for it now but i'm not going to tell you yet until i set it up in yeah so keep an eye out for that. Um, in the meantime, you know, sit tight and hang out with us. Uh, this is a great community, and I really appreciate all my supporters. And um, and I appreciate the folks that are new here that, you know, maybe haven't seen any of my videos yet. And maybe this is the first. So I'm, I'm grateful for you, too. Welcome. And if you would like to get a little further which is a lot of fun there's a lot of uh, interesting stuff going on in there so click on that check it out and uh you know there's t-shirts oh, i'm not wearing one of my t-shirts this is just a this is just a cool one but i've got um some swag also in the description down there <sighs> yeah so 
man. <laughs> yeah, this uh, the content for this video and this talk is just really difficult for me. And but I think I said everything that I need to say. So uh, I guess I'm probably gonna fuck off then. <sighs> All right, guys. Yeah, super depressing video. Sorry about that. <laughs> Have a good Sunday morning. I think it's Sunday. Yep, it's Sunday. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Take care. And if you want to talk about happier stuff, like I said, check out the Discord server. It's a lot of fun. All right. Bye-bye.